Hey guys, P-Man coming to you from Penny Lane, of course, and welcome to week two of our Singer-Songwriter Theme Month. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are, because we're having a blast doing this. We've got a, lot of, got a lot of great tunes lined up for you this month, in fact, ten of them. Uh, I hope you all checked out, if you're here, I know you checked, I know you checked out Plots on Wednesday. What a, what a great song, and I'll tell you what, man. That Plots, he's such an excellent singer, and you know what? He's an even, if you can believe it, he's an even better guitarist. Whew. So um, I just want to say, you know what? I, I, I'm happy, pleased, tickled pink, thankful that uh, Plots invited me to become part of the Plots universe because I've been having nothing but a blast doing this. Just a great time. So enough chattering about that. Let's get to it, right? So the song I'm doing today is from 1972. It is from Mr. Jim Croce. And it is called You Don't Mess Around With Jim. Chart-wise, it hit number eight on the U.S. charts. Uh, as a single, it was the first single off of the album. It, on the A side, you got Don't Mess Around With Jim. On the B side, you got Photographs and Memories, which is another great song. And this was his third LP in, entitled You Don't Mess Around With Jim. All right. So, I guess... <laughs> Yes, and we got Stella. Stella's going to be working it today. So, one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Uptown got his hustlers. All we got is bums. Boys at the street got big Jim Walker. He's a cool chief in front of a gun. Yeah, he's big and tough as a man can come, but he's stronger than a country heart. And when the bad folks all get together at night, you know they all call Big Jim Ball just because. And they say you don't tug on Superman's cake, you don't spit into the wind, you don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. Well, I saw Alabama came a country boy. He said, I'm looking for a man named Jim. I am cool shooting for my name is Willie McCourt, but that old they call me Slim. Yeah, I'm looking for the king of 42nd Street, driving a drop star Cadillac. And if you took all my money, and it sounds funny, but come to get my money back. And everybody say, Jack, don't you know you don't tug on Superman's cake? You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old old ranger, and you don't mess around with him. Oh, oh, ba, 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 ba. Well, I heart fell over the pool room, and Jim popped in off the street. And when the cut was done, the only part that wasn't bloody was the sole of the big man's feet. He was cut about a hundred places, and he was shot in a couple more. And you better believe this on the different kind of story when Big Jim hit the flow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now they say you don't tug on Superman's cake, you don't spit into the wind, you don't pull the mask off the old old ranger, and you don't mess around with Slim. Whoa, 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 Yeah, Jim, he got his big hat. He found out where it's at. It's not hustling people straight. Even if you got a two-piece, custom-made pool cue. Yeah, you don't tug on Superman's game. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old long ranger. And you don't mess around with Slim. Whoa, 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 whoa. One more time. Yeah, you don't tug on Superman's cake. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the 
mask off the old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with him. Lo, 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 don't mess with Slip, man. Lo, 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 Don't mess with Slim. All right, Jim Croce, 1972. Don't mess around with Jim. No, now, don't mess around with Slim. God, I know, I love that song, you know. And, and, <laughs> it's always funny, because I always tell you, I love that song, I love that song. I do love these songs, you know. Why would you, again, why would you play a song that you don't love, you know? Fortunately, me and Plots love so, so, so much music from so many different genres that, you know, we've got a long time to go before we, the well dries up. So hopefully you enjoyed that song as much as I did. What, so what can we say? What do we got about Jim Croce? Well, here's another sad story in that he died at the age of 30 in 1973 in a plane crash with five others. They're heading towards a gig crashed. Uh, the genre that his music falls under is folk and soft rock. Uh, Jim's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, on this song, you have Jim Croce on guitar, plus lead and backing vocals. You got Maury uh, Mullinson on lead guitar and backing vocals, Joe Macho on bass, and Gary Chester on drums. Now, Jim wrote most of his songs about people that he met in bars, truck stops, and in places that he worked while he was working to support his family and his music career. Interesting thing, Jim is one of those poor, unfortunate souls that got kind of, kind of gypped by the, the the music industry. In that, you know, he he went to the to um, the company and you know said hey I got this album I want to do and they said hey yeah it sounds like you got some good material so they gave him a, a it wasn't like you know where they give you a, a money you know in advance they gave him an advance of a hundred thousand dollars to make the record but in their clause they stipulated that he had to pay that hundred thousand dollars back whereas some people they just give you the advance for the music and then blah 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 no he got gypped so, he, you know, he, he put out a couple records. They did all right, as a matter of fact. But it wasn't enough. He, he wasn't making money because the money he did make, he had to start paying back to the studio. So, while he's writing music and doing shows, he also had to get a job. You know, he had like a construction job, working in the bars, whatever he could get to help support him and his family while he's doing his music career. Um, so, the sad part is... Just as after Jim, you know, passes away, this album drops, and he's got a couple huge hits off of it. Fortunately, by this point, even though he's passed away, he had paid off the record company on the money he owed, so the money started to come in, which then did end up supporting his wife and kids. So, I know, kind of a kind of kind of one of those stories, but you know. You got, so you got to be careful because, you know, a lot of people, you know, you want to you wanna do it so bad, you end up giving, pretty much giving up your soul to get that contract. And they make money and you don't a lot of times. So anyway, uh, what else? I, oh, so like I said, yeah, yeah, da, da. okay. So in his short career, so between 1966 and 1973, he released five studio albums and 12 singles. Now just, now this is where I say, if you haven't checked out Jim Croce, you need to make sure you do so. So these are just some of the these are some of the top 20 singles uh, that he hit. And what I'm saying, these songs hit the top 20 on Billboard. There's Bad Bad Leroy Brown, great great song. Uh, Operator, Time in a Bottle, One Less Set of Footsteps, I Got a Name, I Have to Say I Love You in a Song. Oh God, it's a beautiful song. So I may visit some more of those songs as time goes on. So again, if you haven't done so, please. Take the time to check out Jim Croce. So, we get to this part where I say, hey, uh, if you enjoyed if you enjoyed the song, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed mine 
and Stella's performance. How about being kind and nice and leaving her and me some nice comments? Don't forget to tune in on Wednesday to check out Plots at 1 p.m. where he drops a song for week three of our Singer Songwriter Month. And then that Saturday, check me out at noon where I drop my next song. So I guess until next time, peace out. Live long and prosper.